Well, hey there, folks. It's Dub here, and we are back with the last survival boxes I'm ever going to open, at least that I know. The subscription went downhill some time ago. Um, I hung in there for a while. I kind of got it on the tail end, got a few decent boxes, and then uh, I'm not sure what happened. Uh, it seemed to have changed hands, and after that, things, like I said, just, just uh, went for the worse. What we're going to do today, I'm going to open this box up. There, This is the last one I received. This isn't a new box to me or even um, to the to videos by any means. So I'm going to open it up and just do a box dump out. We're going to look at it. We had a gentleman request I do a box like that, so I thought this one would make sense. At the end of this video, stay tuned because we are going to do a survival boxes giveaway. If you remember back when I did the scuba box video, there was a double. I got two of the same box. Um, so I'm going to give one of those away. So hang on till the end and we'll review that and then we'll figure out what you got to do to uh, enter in to, to get that one. So without any further ado, we'll just open this one up. And unlike how I normally do things and leave stuff in the box and come out one at a time, we're just going to dump this thing out. Uh, it feels kind of heavy. We'll see what is in here. All right. Empty box. Oh, not quite, right? Because there's a little card of knowledge which in these more recent boxes has gotten kind of weird sometimes the way they word things isn't doesn't make a lot of sense so this one is lake camping uh let go of the comforts of human civil civilization and immerse yourself in an experience to put your true primitive hero to the test that's kind of what i mean just i i don't think most people would word things like that anyways they're showing you how to basically make a uh, a net here you can weave one of those there is a candle wick reservoir they're working on and a few other things. I don't know if you think that was worth something. It's all worth knowing, I suppose. Just these cards seem kind of weird anymore. All right, off to the side. What did I dump out? Is this what's so heavy is a giant chunk of wood? Oh my goodness. It's like a pre-built barbecue chunk of wood. It's got a giant Viking on it. And it says, Bernie, all wood self-burning grill. Okay. I mean, it's kind of cool. But I mean, who, who would buy that, like, on their own? You know what I mean? Like, once you, you can't really use it again when it's gone. I don't know what these things cost. There's a piece of wood in the middle. There's bits of charcoal inside of there. All right. There is a grill for it you can put on. And, oh, although this is calling it a cooling rack, so maybe you shouldn't. Although, I feel like that's what it's for. Alright, they get some charcoal and some bits everywhere. So here was their upcoming themes. I'm sure these have already gone and passed. This is an old box. And uh, here's what they've got, you know, laid out for us in this one. Alright, what else do we got? It's a survival candle. Which is just a big candle, you know, three wick candle. I don't know what they got for survival and everything. It's called a three wick candle. Okay, what else we hear? We have some fishing line. Um, I got this. This stuff is all over my hands yet. It's all over everything. This is the XL Smooth Casting, super strong. So I can go over there. So it looks like we've got some bit of tackle. Looks like just um, some hooks, some weights, and um, some swivels, kind of an assortment going on there. At least I want the eagle, eagle claw. Like it's, you know, decent as far as I remember. At least I remember as a kid grabbing some of that and it worked well enough for us what else we have some Guggen baits so depending on what you're trying to catch these look like some kind of little bandito bug this thing says so for those anglers out there out there it's uh black and kind of sparkly and kind of fun so who knows what you're gonna get there all right and some kind of a multi-function flashlight looks like it's got uh kind of a glass break on the the head here or something all right, seems to be rechargeable via USB. It has some considerable weight to it. There's a solar cell on it. It is rechargeable and it can charge, apparently. We'll see what it has in here for a battery. And that is not accessible. Oh, well, there is a little compass on the bottom side there. So I don't know if you're not supposed to get to it. There's kind of a little bit of a grate that appears non-removable. So here is the battery clip. So nothing from it yet, so we must need to give it a charge before it's got anything going on. I do like the color, and it does appear, like I say, to have, um, oh, okay, that would be a bit of a seatbelt cut, and then there's something for the window, a little bit of a glass break. So, I mean, something you could toss in your vehicle, and hopefully it would charge, and then you'd have at least a flashlight and something to charge up a, a device. I don't know about the compass or the glass break or the seatbelt cut, but, you know. All right. 
Water straw. It's a water straw. So it filters water. It's a straw. It's a water straw. All right. And here is the ring of fire, which is there is a striker. There is some probably fire cord, and there's some live fire in here. So that's not um, that's not bad gear by any means. But um, as a whole collective box, again, this is kind of what I'm talking about. The stuff that you get anymore, it, it kind of has a theme, it kind of doesn't. It's like, here's some fire and flashlight. Here's some fishing stuff and a candle and the giant log. So, I mean, it's all stuff. It's all usable if you know what you're doing to a certain degree. But again, I just don't know if these boxes had really any cohesion at any point in time anymore. And uh, I just wasn't, wasn't too interested in paying anymore. Uh, for just this kind of random selection of stuff anybody could pick out themselves. So, anywho, I'm going to do a, another giveaway here relatively soon. I might include some of this stuff also. Uh, I've got some things laid out. Uh, I'm trying to make things actually kind of make a little bit more sense than they do sometimes with these boxes. And less mess for you if you open mine up. So, alright. So, all that aside, we'll just put some of that stuff over here real quick. Do that. I hope the dump out version worked for some of you. Um... And if not, I think I'll go back to my regular style, just kind of one at a time in it. All right, so bring this one back in there. If you remember, this was what we talked about a little bit earlier. This was, they called it snorkeling at sea. I guess I said scuba. It's not quite right. It's snorkeling. It's not scuba. But it came with the, uh, the knife set there. It has the actual snorkel. There is some anti-fog for the goggles, which are in here with the bag and everything else. So if you want to go ahead and acquire your own, snorkel set for the upcoming summer season just put r.i.p survival boxes like rest in peace r.i.p because in my mind these things are done for i don't know who else is out there still buying them i uh i kind of hung on to them for a while just to see what would happen i was entertained to try and show y'all what was going to happen with it but i think what happens is they take people's money and then they give them just some random stuff and that's it so let me know what you think if you want to be in to win this stuff r.i.p uh survival boxes and i'll catch you on the next one Dub signing off.